getting back to milk it reviews. It's uh, been a few weeks, unfortunately, been a bit busy, then we've had some really bad weather. <coughs> um, it's taken a bit of time to get these uh, videos out. Well, we're going to cut to the chase. What we've got here are 511 Cavu full frame polarized sunglasses. Now, I've got to be honest, I am really am a big fan of 511 sunglasses. Two reasons. One, the style, right? I just find they fit me. I've got a big head, right? Unfortunately, I've got a 61 centimeter head, right? And the the stretch in the frames on these, it doesn't phase the the, the glasses at all, right? Um, so when we're actually coming down, actually sticking them on my head, it's not like you're sort of overstretching things. But then, having said that, my son's got a 56 centimeter head, and they fit in perfectly. So the stretch, right, works really well for me and also if you've got a smaller head they're going to fit you as well. The other thing that I like about them is the strength. Now with the best will in the world we can all sit down and say oh our sunglasses will do the job right but when it really comes down to push comes to shove right at times we all out there need safety glasses. These are made in conjunction with the same as I believe all of the 511 sunglasses. They're made in um, conjunction with Wiley X uh, I bought a pair of Wiley X sunglasses years ago because they were advertised as actually being shotgun proof. So, you know, at the end of the day, right, that's that's pretty good going. I don't know whether these reach that same standard, but I really don't see any reason why they shouldn't, right? But if you really want to know, check out the 511 website. It's got all the safety standards on there that they actually reach. So you're not just buying, this is the important thing, you're not just buying a pair of sunglasses, you're buying a pair of safety glasses as well. Right, um, <clears throat> I think a vast majority of the people that watch this channel, they probably shoot. And straight away, I mean, we've all had the crud and the muck come back out of a rifle or a handgun and hit us in the face. Well, the last place we want is uh, in the eyes. Polarised. Why polarised? I've got another pair of 511 polarised sunglasses. I reviewed them a number of years ago. They're still going really well. My son's actually stolen them from me. Right, um, He wears them a lot for duty use. Um, they're great. Polarisation. It's a coating which cuts down on glare off of reflective surfaces. Um, you can sometimes get it off the bonnet of your car. You can sometimes find that you'll get it off of water. Right, these I've actually, I live very close to a river. And one of the first places I went with these just to make sure they're going to give me the level of protection I wanted was down to the river on a really bright sunny day. And straight away you can see straight through the surface water, right? There's no glare on it where there's plenty of glare when you take them off. So they do do the job. Um, I missed that bit out on the original video of the other ones and I got asked so many questions I thought I'd better get that in here. Um, what do you get in the box? Right, well for a start you get your glasses. Right, well, they're full framed as you can see. Um, what I really really like about these are the, the bits of rubber. They just grip the sides of your head and stop these slide off even when you're sweating. Right, they work very very well. Um, they're a nice gloss black frame, which I must admit I do like. I'm not a massive fan of matte black on glasses. It tends to sort of have sticky finger marks on it, right? I know gloss does, but it doesn't show as much. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the neck strap, which attaches onto the arms. Get these with all 511 sunglasses. They work extremely well. I haven't opened these, as you can see, but what I will do, I'll just give you a little tip. Because this is one thing that I found my very first pair. Um, you've got the usual. I'm sure you're all very familiar with the attachment method right? when it goes on to the arms of the glasses. But the one thing that I found I, I really like on this, you've got an adjuster right, that runs up and down that reduces the length of the the available length of the neck cord, but there's one problem, that will pull straight off the end. So, just a tiny little tip, because it was annoying me, my original ones, and I'll do it to these, just take the end, fold it over just half a centimetre, and put a couple of stitches in it. And that will just stop that, that stopper, from coming off the end. Um, I love these bags. You get them with all 511 glasses, right, they, work really well, they're microfiber. I hate sticky finger marks on lenses, I absolutely detest it. 
Mine have to be squeaky clean, same as the windscreen on the car, right, can't bear that dirty either. Um, keep your glass in these, it's, it seems to just polish them as you, you're moving them around. So they, they really are a nice touch, right. Um, so you've got them with all of the all of the glasses. All of my 511 sunglasses are kept in these bags at all times, <coughs> which which helps a lot. You can also use it as a, a cleaning cloth as well, where it's microfiber. If you do get them dirty, right, just take your bag. I mean, you might want to turn it inside out in case you've got any grit on the dirt on the outside, right? But it works really really well. This is the bestest bit of all. Bestest bestest bit. These cases, right. <laughs> They're bomb proof, they really are. I, I keep my sunglasses, well, obviously when I'm not wearing them, they go in the microfiber bag, they go in the, in the case that comes with them. All 511 sunglasses come with these cases, right? Now, I then, I don't tend, although you've got slick, stick and moddy attachment on the back of this, I don't tend to attach them to the outside of my bags. <coughs> Sorry, what I do do is throw it in the inside of the bag. Now, straight away, that works really well. I've not had any damage at all to any of my 511 sunglasses whilst being carried in these bag, in these pouches. Right, YKK zipper, absolutely, well, I'm not going to say bomb proof, but it's very strong. Um, if you're going to wear this on a vest or have it on a bag strap, they've got a cord inside there. The idea of that cord, you can actually adjust where you have that knot, which will determine how far this actually flaps open when you've undone it. Can come in quite handy if you're doing battery changes on a flashlight or something. It, you can actually unzip this and use that as a, just a storage tray, right? It's, uh, I've seen people do it, right? And it works very, very well. Um, not a lot more I can say on these, right? Other than. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask. Like, you know I don't mind answering questions, right? If I can answer it, I will do. If not, I can't answer it, I'll probably find you someone that can. <coughs> Sorry. If you're new to Milk It Reviews, please subscribe. A lot more video reviews coming up in the near future, right? It's just grabbing the time. I've got some I've got to do outside. and the... <laughs> We've just had a heat wave and it's been fantastic weather, but I was away. Now I've come back, we've had nothing but horizontal rain and high winds, so it's just bad luck. Right, but as soon as the weather changes, right, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of videos hit this channel. So please, if you're new to Milk It Reviews, hit that subscribe button and you'll get the notifications down the left side of your screen. But thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please feel free to ask. Bye-bye.